Here we sit right in the middle of the season, Brent, halfway through a long schedule. It's got to be a grind for these players. Oh, yeah, these are the dog days, Kevin, and the thing that you want to do is make sure that oh, you're continuing to come with that mentality that you want to improve. Number 18. There may be days where physically it's tougher. There might be days where mentally it's tougher. But those kind of players, all collectively put together, are going to end up achieving something in any given season. Now let's take a look at Denver's opening lineup. Gordon steps in at the four with Jokic in at center. MP is out there with Maria. And Green with a nice heads up play moving to make the next pass. Defensive foul. Nikola Jokic. And he's got his first chance at the first line here. Personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your trailblazers. Drew Eubanks. Oh. On average, four to six coaching changes happen after every regular season. And in 2021, the Trailblazers parted ways with their coach after nine seasons. And Chauncey Billups was brought in as their new leader. And the basket by Gordon. Aaron Gordon. Uh, Gordon able to knock down that one from the mid-range. To the paint. Here's Eubanks. Good. Great play Good. by Gordon to set it up. Eubanks got five points so far. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Well, we know, Brent, the Blazers' front office really seems to like Coach Chauncey Billups. They feel he brings a certain toughness to that team. Yeah, the accountability part is, is what they lean on with Chauncey. And obviously a, a great connection in the point guard mentality between Chauncey and Damian Lillard. Well, immediately a lot of respect Drew given Eubanks. to him uh, because First of how he carried himself foul. in his career. So it's been a welcome change for the organization. The we'll see if they can build upon Mike last Bola year. The Nuggets shooting their first foul the shot of the line. line. Free throw, good. Jokic. Jokic gives you such a great foundation out there. He stays so level-headed. That's the kind of leader that this team has been feeding off of. Now, here's Simon. His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. Reddish the pass to Grant. And Simon's wide open. He'll fire. Great look, but off the mark. For Denver, they've gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Murray kicks to MP. There's the three. They grab their own miss. Gordon. And then Aaron Gordon, Gordon with the dunk. Aaron Gordon with great hustle that time. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam King. Simons surveying the D. Grant against Gordon. Here's Rush. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's MP. And it's good Number off the 18. back of the rim and in. MP's got his third bucket of the night. Defensively, giving up far too many open Trailblazers timeouts. Some timeout called here, the first for Portland. And there's a technique Jamal Murray uses that's pretty rare in the NBA. It's got it's practice and meditation. I love that he does that, and he plays that focus for his ability to stay in the moment. And Greg, you and I have seen some moments from one Jamal Murray. I'm very excited about his return to his full capacity and what he's going to be capable of doing. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Here's Jokic. Good. He is. Jokic. goes to MP. Assistant. Jokic has got his second bucket of the night. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Three-pointer Miller. Portland again missing. And here's Denver. They're on a 17-5 run. And here's MP for three. Connects Number from three-point range. MP's got 11 points. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. 
coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Now, here's Reddish. We saw him with 19 points his last out. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really Whoa. steady jump shooter. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. Yeah, and even up big, still playing the right way, keeping that aggressive nature and attacking the rim. That one misses. Three shots all come up empty. The Nuggets leading by 17. Braun, again, the Nuggets Versus score. Braun. Excellent all-around performance so far. Nicola Jokic, the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, Braun. I'd add two With ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Now a timeout called by Portland. They defeated Indiana in their last game. To change it up. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. So out there for the Nuggets right now. Gordon steps in at the four with Jokic in at center. Jamal Murray is out there with MP. And guys, he's been a one man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, MP in the last matchup against Dallas played phenomenal. He dropped in 34 points, and he got those points as he always does, knocking down shots from beyond the arc. A very solid stat by him and what was a terrific outing. And you know he wants to keep the momentum going, Kevin. Yeah, David, he was in attack mode all night long. GA really propelled them to that win. When he's on, he is on. And there isn't all that much you can do to stop him. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you Number see the confidence 18. that he's playing with. That's what I like best. And so far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. And the pass to Grant. Back to Reddish. Let's go. And Jokic with the rebound. And well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence Jamal here, and, and try to find a assist. way to get on the board. Nikola Jokic. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And so here's Denver, following the miss by Jeremy Grant from deep. And here's MP for three. And again, Denver with the triple. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. When you think of backcourt offenses in general, Greg, how critical is ball and player movement to a team's success? Chris Kevin, unless Bro. you have incredible Assisted isolation scores, it's essential. Even then, keeping the defense rotating and reacting is the best way to create open looks and offensive rebound opportunities. And here are the Trailblazers now. Denver getting their last shot to go. Now, here's Reddish. Not a lot of room, and that one drops. I like it when Cam Reddish decides on pick and rolls to attack. It's coming right at you. Pass to MP. Three-pointer on the way. Another three for Denver. Three-pointers Three are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Now, here's Sharp, covered by MP. Eubanks, no good. 
Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And the three ball is good. They have a good plan going right now, and they're starting to create separation. The game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together. Right now, their chemistry is something to be admired. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. And there it is for him. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficient. Portland again, missing. Braun. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. First personal foul. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Just four seconds left to play in the first half. Lillard fires away from way outside. And the last That's second the attempt the first doesn't fall. With and score. so it's the Denver with Nuggets the with a huge lead at the break. The Nuggets, 65. Fans have a big round of applause for your Trailblazers youth dance team. Hey, fans, get up and move. And with, with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at MP in this game, guys, he has been everywhere. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. At the guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. Jeremy Grant is out there with Cameron Reddish. And it's Eubanks in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's who Chauncey Billups starts the second half with. Here's MP. It's good from about 19 feet. MP's got the first points of the second half here for Denver. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Here's Rich. Portland, no good that time either. You talk about things at halftime, and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. The three from MP. Good on the three-point shot. MP's got five points now this quarter. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Pass to Reddish. Now Grant. Simons with the ball. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. And Reddish with this one. Reddish. Reddish getting up there and getting explosive. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for Denver. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found the temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And D.A., we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD, uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. That goes all day long. David, thank you. Three. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. The Trailblazers have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Pass to Simons. Lock at six. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And a drive like that one can be a knockout punch. 
great finish at this junction. And Lillard kicks to Simons. One forty-four left in the third quarter of the game. The pass to Eubanks. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Simons has a great change of pace when he comes off of those screens. So it might not look like he's going fast, but he might take an extra step. And guys just can't keep up with that. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Jacks up a three. They get it again. Gordon. And the layup's good off the glass. Gordon. Gordon's got his third basket of the night. When, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Yeah, those are tough. You get back into the game by working harder than the other team, not the other way around. They're just going to extend this lead. Now, here's Lillard. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. MP against Simon. MP, no good. Trailblazers have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Reddish finds Grant, and he finishes nicely on the way. Grant's got a second bucket tonight. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Pass to MP. Trying his luck from deep. Trains the three-pointer. MP's got 41. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Here's Grant. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Here's Jokic. The three from MP. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beat. And, the and at the end of the three. third quarter, I huge score. lead in this one may They're already have been decided. Nuggets ahead, delivering the blowouts from Portland. We're back in a moment. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. So it's Denver taking care of business in this and that's the end to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight. Says I think Brady, an awful lot about this team. Tonight. I guess thank they you, fans, need home and thank the staff that all the way. I mean, be safe. Kevin, just a masterful performance all, all the way around. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Arlen saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.